with a ton of custom power plans out there, you might obviously be confused as to which power plan is the best for getting more FPS, better 0.1% lows and overall windows performance. You might already know this but using a good power plan can really affect the performance of your windows in almost all modern games. So this is the only power plan guide that you will ever need as I have the benchmarks for more than 10 power plans that I will be showcasing today in this video and I'll also show you how to use them too. So hit that like button and let's dive into it. First thing first is the power plans that I will be covering and how to actually use them. So go down into the description of this video and you can download all of the power plans that will be used inside of this video. Now make sure that you download this zip file and don't go on to any of the malicious files. So simply double click on it and then extract the power plans out of it. Once extracted open up the folder and inside of here the first thing that you need to apply is the import power plan reg because this is what will allow us to double click any power plan to import it into the power plan section of our control panel. So simply double click hit yes, hit yes once again and then hit ok. Now you should be able to import any of the power plans that are inside of here by simply double clicking on them. You will also notice that inside of here I have my older power plan that is benchmarked inside of this video as well as a new and updated power plan that hasn't been benchmarked so you can always go ahead and benchmark it yourself and try it. After all I did improve it a little bit from the older power plan so go ahead and give it a try. But now on to actually using the power plans, simply go ahead and double click any power plan that you want to import then go back, then open up the power plan shortcut and you will see under the additional plans that the power plan will be imported. Simply click on it and voila, now you have successfully used the power plan. You can go ahead and repeat this step with all of these and any of these that you want to use. On to the benchmarks now. So the program used for these benchmarks is Capframe X. So if any of you is interested in benchmarking yourself, I would be glad to know about your results as well. But here's the first benchmark on your screen and this was done on this PC. I will leave the specs in the pinned comment or the description down below. So you can check that out as well but as you can see that the Rectangle power plan was actually beating the ggos as well as the unicorn power plan because those were the two that i was competing with at that time so that's why i tested them inside of the fortnite however one thing that i want to point out is that you shouldn't be actually looking at the average fps since if you see the average fps there is about a difference of four fps in total between the first and the last one which is within the margin of error the more important thing is actually the one percentile fps and the 0.2 percentile FPS which if you have a closer gap in them that just means that you will have more stable FPS and not as much FPS drops. This will be more apparent in the next benchmark I show so it should be on your screen right now and here are the 10 more power plans that I have tested but these are not actually my benchmarks because it would actually be biased to provide all of these benchmarks from only my perspective so these are the benchmarks of other users as well. So inside of here you can see once again that the average FPS difference between the first one and the last one is less than 2 FPS which is once again within the margin of error so I wouldn't actually count on the average FPS but look more towards the 1% FPS and the 0.1% FPS. Now just by looking at this you can see that the high performance default power plan is also really good. The Zoyota's power plan with the idle off is also actually really good but one thing to keep in mind that the ones that have the idle off basically means that your CPU will show that it's always at 100% even if when it's not. So if you don't want that then I would recommend you to not use any of the ones with say idle off to avoid that but yeah you can go ahead and take a look at these power plans some of my personal favorites from these ones have been the Adam X one as well as the Clipto's power plan with idle off and of course it might be biased but my own power plan now once again these are the results from a lot of different users so the results for you may vary for example the Adam X power plan may not actually give you the highest FPS or even the best percentiles on your specific machine so go ahead and try them out benchmark your own power plans but this is a general guide if you don't want to do that then this is the graph and these are the comparisons that you need to look at and choose one of the power plans from this list. Any of the power plans from this list will work a lot better than any of the power plans that you might randomly use since these are some of the best power plans that are available out there. And these benchmarks have been done inside of Fortnite but this performance does transfer over to any of the other games that you might play. Since power optimization isn't just specific game optimization it is the overall windows optimization so it will apply to any of the games that you might be playing on your windows machine. Also if you want to optimize your CPU performance then check out this video right now. 